In order to integrate styling into your application, you're going to have to learn how to update the CSS files and the SCSS files inside of the Rails asset pipeline. To get to it, you go to App, Assets, Style Sheets, and you'll see it by default already has a few here. We have our application.css file, and this has essentially what will be all of the different CSS files all get combined into one file at compile time. This require tree call and or tr require tree dot means that every one of the other files in this style sheets directory will all get called and compiled into one single CSS file uh, when the application runs, which means that you don't have to put all of your styles inside of this file. You can organize them by their page or by their feature. But you also can put it right here if you uh, want the styles to apply to everything, and that's what require self does. Require self means anything you put inside of here will be applied to the entire application. So I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to do body and let's add a margin across everything of 42 pixels. Now if we go back, hit refresh, and you can see that this gave us a little bit of margin here on each side of it. So this is really exactly what we're looking for. Now if you want to apply some custom styles, let's say to pages for the home page, then you could apply those here. So I'm going to do a new class called Homepage Projects and I'm going to give a font size of 1.25 M's and then I'm going to do, let's see, for right now let's just make sure that this gets called in. So this is our class. Now if we go to Home then I want to do a div inside of this and give this a class. Okay, so if I go to projects, hit refresh, and nothing's happening. And that's probably because I need to, let's see, make this, <clears throat> excuse me, a, uh, make it apply the paragraph. And there you go. So uh, it, this is not a CSS course, but right there, uh, I had forgot to put the selector. So we want all the paragraph tags that are inside homepage projects. So homepage projects is the class. And then inside of our partial, our shared projects partial, we know if we, I'll open up right here. If we go to this, we can see that there's a paragraph tag. So what we're essentially doing is going down the chain and applying that value right here. So uh, this is a way of also organizing your code. So you can notice I didn't use our homepage projects class inside of the application file because that would have made it messy. And if you have a large application with a lot of styles, this would eventually get pretty ugly. Now scaffolds. SCSS you can see actually has quite a few things already built in. I actually don't like any of these so I'm going to delete it entirely and then if we go back hit refresh you can see that it changes everything because it had a custom font and it had a lot of things. The thing I really don't like that it uses is if you remember back and I you don't have to remember back I'll just go hit uh, I, I, well, I can go back and uh, this will teach you a little git right here. So git, git status and oh, I haven't initialized the git repository. I will do that later. Uh, anyway, if we were to pull all the scaffolds back, then uh, you would see there's a highlighted portion behind each one of these where it highlights it in black and changes the text to white. I've never ever used that style. So I always get rid of them right away. Uh, but then after that, I'll usually apply bootstrap and uh, or foundation or some of these different popular CSS and JavaScript frameworks so that we can have those styles. So the main thing to know whenever you're 
integrating a styles is anything you want to apply the entire application you can put in this file one other thing that I will do a lot is I'll do a new file and say styles dot scss and I'm gonna bring in this entirely into here hit save come back Oh, need to restart the server and let it load up and this is a way of making sure that your file always stays clean you can see it still has the our good margin that we wanted and even though I move this outside because of this require tree it's going to bring these in anyway so this will bring in the good margin we want and uh, you could do anything else you wanted to test out to see that prove it's working do that and you can see it changes i'll switch it back because this is what i'm actually wanting but that's how you integrate uh, custom uh, styles and use a css pipeline and one thing that I don't like is this ugly font right here. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate custom fonts and how you can uh, select those fonts uh, inside of our CSS files using the Rails Asset Pipeline.